speaking before about that mushroom trip that we did because that yeah. was the first mushroom trip i had in three years uh, oh really such a long time yeah because I, I had like a rough experience because i did it uh i don't know if you've ever overdosed from mushrooms before and i don't mean physically overdose where you die but i'm just like you took way too much and it became too overwhelming and you're like all right i just gotta survive for the next few hours you know it's like an ordeal oh this is an ordeal now fuck yeah and you're just like <laughs> yeah yeah you're just like hanging on a by a thread with your sanity and you're like fuck am i gonna come out of this they're the worst feelings like like i really <laughs> yeah. did it this time i'm a fucking i thought i'd been in you know muddy water before but this time this is it i'm done i fucked up <laughs> <laughs> this is how my life ends <laughs> <laughs> I've had, <laughs> I've had um pretty intense moment. I don't. I think it was LSD maybe that I've like I've curled up in bed and actually accepted I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought this is it. Should I message everyone? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't die. But like you, you wait know, until that moment. Yeah. I might um, though. I might have to do that. I have to leave a note or something. I can't just leave this dimension <laughs> without those, saying anything. Those thoughts were there. I was like, fuck, should I do it? But oh, I curled up in bed. And I was like, this could be it. I could have fucked something up. This could be <laughs> fucking real shit. And I, but I was like, just at least I'm in my bed. I'll just, it would just, I probably did die. And this is just a dream. <laughs> could probably be. still dreaming. Uh, I've had times where I had to like call my girlfriend. I felt like such a... I don't know, a, a wimp maybe, like, oh, look at me, like, I'm a, I'm a grown man basically crying that's, and just want it, what, want it to stop, you know, I have that's to ask the, for help. That's the, like, although in that point in the psychedelics where it, like, defeats you, that's, like, the most part, that's the most uh, educational part, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Where it, like, shows you what your limits are. Like, I remember... That mushroom trip that I was telling you about, how that fucking thing came out the wall and started trying to talk to me and nearly tricked me. Uh, I don't know what I was. But after that, I was sitting in this room right now because I'm back at my dad's. Um, so I was, I went to the toilet, like, to just fucking... I, I was, as I was, it was the middle of winter and I was fucking... Uh, the shroom just hit me so hard during that experience where like, I was like taking all my clothes off because I was just sweating yeah and I, I thought fuck, I'm gonna probably shit myself I'm gonna go <laughs> sit on the toilet because I don't know like I'll probably they're the worst happen, ones but... where you don't yeah. know if you're gonna shit but you just have that it could happen like that's how fucked it up you happen. are right now yeah like you have no control over your physical so I had to sit I didn't shit myself but I sat on there and then I thought now nah, fuck that I'll come inside I'll come into my bedroom I'll um I'll put on a you know a TV show that I'm comfortable with like How I Met Your Mother with like laughing audio and shit it just makes me comfortable feeling like there's more people in the room mm. and um I was sitting on the bed and just thinking before that experience I was real um what's the word like real new to the the spiritual and trippy side where I was like, fucking, I can handle anything. Fuck yeah, yeah bring it all yeah. on. Bring bring everything at me. I, I can handle this. Like the I'm ar ar arrogance. It's like the the hero's arrogant. journey. Every every hero goes through it. It's like Thor in the first movie. He's like super arrogant. He thinks he's top shit. He can handle this stuff until life yeah. beats him down to a pulp. And it's like, oh shit, I better respect You're this. Not ready. I ain't shit 100%. compared to these higher levels. You that, know, hundred percent. Like imagine, I, I, I always think of like as above so below trying to relate it to a life form lower than us like imagine if a spider just came into a human house like yeah i can fucking handle these now nah, these humans aren't shit yeah and really we're like behemoth giants that could literally squash them just like that you know exactly they're That's in like... our realm whereas in this psychedelic place it's like we're playing by their i don't know who they are but yeah, it's definitely mushroom. something other than just us you know 100 yeah, percent, man like they that's where I think where they, the whole sense of the killing your ego, because you, your spiritual ego is like, fuck yeah, I can take on anything, I can take as many psychedelics as I want, I'm fucking, I'm powerful, I'm fucking so good and up there, I'm enlightened, fuck yeah, I can handle it. Hmm. But then 
you get put on your ass. And I was sitting there after that experience because I was inviting beings to come talk to me. I was inviting that shit mm. until something dark came and talked to me. And I was like actually so scared, like actually fucking frightened. It's and terrifying. The whole story of yeah. yeah, and I've had like the the light beings come down and fucking protect me and shield me from this cunt. And that was so intense to see happen that I was like, holy fuck, I shouldn't be messing around with this shit. Mm. And I came back and sat on my bed right where I am now and just thinking like, I'm not ready. It's it's I like thought Dr. Strange, I was ready dude, mentally. With the dark dimension. Hundred percent. Like you're not ready. Like you you think you're ready. And then it will show you, like, you've still got a fucking long way to go. Yeah. You can't just skip these lessons. You can't go to seventh grade and then just go to twelfth grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go to the school, everything like, is one, I am God. And then just skip yeah. all these levels. It's like, you're still an organic human person. Yeah. 